What's going on guys? It's Kyle. Welcome to Big Money Mindset 2 Rocket Fuel channel. In today's video, we're going to be covering the NEO stock. We're going to take a look at the headlines the past couple of days. And I'm going to show you guys some serious, I mean serious, rocket fuel gains. These are call options that I sent out to over 500 people inside of my Patreon. There's so much opportunity inside the Patreon. There's so many other stocks that are potentially boiling up very soon. You have an amazing time frame of getting in on those opportunities. Be sure to take a look at the link in bio because the rocket fuel is waiting. I'm telling you, we're going to take a look at the NEO. We're going to take a look at some of the call options I bought. And I'm going to give you guys my predictions on NEO Day and the bullish thesis of NEO in the future. Let's get into it. Guys, we're looking at the NEO stock right now. It's January 7th. We're hovering around $54.24. Uh, my options are doing absolutely amazing we're up 820 percent right now this is a long-term call option i listed inside of my patreon we have over 500 uh, users inside of the same exact call option so guys these types of opportunities are out there uh, we have multiple people hitting 10 x's and yes when i say 10 x i do mean a thousand percent gain on your money this is definitely possible i have other call options right now beginning to heat up i want you guys in on those opportunities as well um, this is a call option that takes months to develop guys this is a 22 dollars call i was buying this like three months ago four months ago and this is what it's all about guys it's all about patience it's all about timing if you can get those two uh, things together your timing and your patience on your call options you're going to win continuously over time and you can see i purchased these for like 300 dollars a piece these are worth nearly three thousand two hundred dollars a piece uh, we're potentially seeing you know a 10x on this investment uh, I'll probably just go long on these and exercise the call but guys I'm gonna give you guys uh, what I expect you know with neo day uh, happening uh, right now what I do expect is you know we may see a pullback tomorrow uh, you know a sell-off right before neo day because neo day is in on the weekend guys they did that for a reason I believe to just you know protect the stock you know they don't want to sell off you know during the week so this is going to happen over the week which could potentially over the weekend which could potentially you know have a great week next weekend but i do expect a pullback to happen guys uh just to just to play it safe a pullback can happen you know anywhere in that 15 percent range a 15 percent pullback that is a you know a solid amount we may see that friday after hours so if you do have call options for the 15th or you know tomorrow it, it's better to cash in now Play it safe. After Neo Day takes effect, try to get in next week before the run. We should be running very hard the next couple of months. So I have been recommending, you know, April calls uh, for people. You know, they're pretty expensive. They're near like a thousand dollars, but I do uh, recommend people buying those uh, April calls right now or further if you can afford it. But guys, this is what it's all about: patience, eight hundred percent gains. You know, these are worth nearly sixteen grand. I put in like fifteen hundred bucks on these. I already sold a couple. Uh, patience guys you will win over time we're gonna take a look at the neo why I'm so bullish you know long term on neo guys I'm not just looking for short term play on this I want to go long on these uh, stocks guys and I want to hit it big and we'll take a look at what's been happening with neo and why I am so bullish on this company so guys we'll go back into neo day you know what I expect to happen for neo uh, as far as what they're offering but we can see that the big thing that I'm liking is the deliveries. It's all about revenue and all about sales. That's how a stock is going to go up over time. Neo delivered record 7,000 electrical vehicles in December. That's amazing, guys. They were up from like 5,200. Uh, this is an average of 84,000 vehicles a year, guys. That's nearly a fifth of Tesla's 2020 production. If you just go into an average, you know, a 12-month average, almost at 100,000 vehicles already. If they continue to grow at this rate, guys, there's no telling what can happen by the end of the year. I've already gave price points, price targets on multiple videos, you know, midterm, long-term calls. You know, I said uh, right around, you know, after Neo Day is finalized, you know, maybe a week after, right around Neo Day on the weekend, next week, you know, we could potentially see $70. That is definitely possible. I was recommending people to buy January 15th calls, but, you know, if you want to play it safe, you need to sell uh, tomorrow. You know we might make it up to like 58 bucks tomorrow. The pullback might happen early. Just know, 15% uh, pullback is definitely possible. But we'll take a look at some uh, more headlines. Of course, we got the you know sedan coming out uh, this weekend. Uh, a huge battery pack. Be very excited. 
And there's more headlines we're going to look at. I've covered these multiple times, guys. I know people keep doing continuous videos on Neo Day. Neo Day is going to be solid. But even if there's good news, there could still be a sell-off, guys. So looks like we did get a, another solid uh, price target You know, earlier in the weekend. CICC raises Neo price target to 60 Says the Model Y price cut, you know, which Elon Musk has been doing, will have limited impact, you know, on the uh, Neo stock. So they're not really worried. Uh, you know, they can continue to cut their uh, price points on their vehicles. Neo is not cutting their price points. They are not worried about Tesla right now. They will be taking over China. That is their home court. And uh, there's already been several. Uh, there's already been several rumors about Elon Musk admitting this. His biggest competitor is going to be coming from China. And it's going to be a very, very good uh, competitive match, you know, the next couple of years to come. And basically, CICC is a top Chinese investment bank. Uh, this was a report released earlier this week. So just another price target, guys. I'm not, you know, going too in-depth to this. I just want to let you guys know the news. Uh, Neo's upcoming sedan to take on the BMW, you know, 7 Series. You know, so this is going to be a 7 Series competitor uh, in Neo's eyes. The BMW 7 Series, which is what Neo's upcoming sedan will be competing against. Neo officially announced today that it will unveil its first sedan on Neo Day, January 9th, Saturday. Uh, just more headlines, you know, competing with luxury, you know, American brands, Mercedes, BMW. A uh, lot of exciting things happening for Neo. Uh, we just got to play it, you know, by ear, wait till after Neo Day. Like I said before, I think regardless of a sell off, we will recover over time, guys. Uh, if you get inside of the Patreon, I'm going to get you in some long term Neo call options where you can make some big money as well as much cheaper calls with other companies I'm playing. You guys have watched my YouTube. You already know APXT, BFT, Open Door, uh, GIX. These are tons of companies that I'm playing, and you know these are just beginning, guys. So you don't want to chase necessarily. It's okay to time accordingly if you go long on some options, but it's all about getting in early, guys, and that's what I teach. You guys saw with the gains. Uh, this has gone out to over 500 users inside of the Patreon. It's what it's all about, uh, limiting your risk and maximi uh, maximizing your uh, gains. Neo's number of stores expected to double uh, to 400 this year. This is, you know, 48 hours ago. This is very recent. Chinese electrical vehicle Neo's store count is expected to increase to 400 this year, doubling the number from last year. Uh, Neo did not respond to the store opening plans as of press time. The company already has more than 200 stores in China by the end of 2020. Confidence among electric um, car makers is growing with some brands signing longer term leases. American commercial real estate services company Jones Lang uh, LaSalle said, as quoted in the report. So, you know, everything Neo is doing, they're doing it the right way, guys. Their customer service is second to none. Uh, their sales are growing rapidly. They have great finance in place, you know, to protect the company. They're working on a factory, they're working uh, to head into European markets. It's just getting started, guys. People wake up every day and, you know, just wake up and say, you know, it's time to, you know, put a savings in a Tesla at $800, at $2,000. This will happen down the road in a year, two, three years. People will just, you know, have to make the push to get into Neo because they're going to be taken over with their autonomous driving, different countries. The products are amazing. The, the government is backing them. It's a no-brainer, guys. Don't really stress over Neo Day. Like I said, price target in the short term, maybe next week uh, after Neo Day. We could see 70 bucks. It's definitely possible after a sell off recovery. But just know by April, I put a price target around 100. And December, I put a price target around 150. You know, that's what you've been waiting for. I really do expect this to happen, guys. I think the company right now, the price point is a little bit low for what it should be because of all these nasty headlines, guys. Delisting, dilution, telecom companies. This stuff has nothing to do with Neo. Neo is in compliance. They want to work with America. They want to work with American investors. And we're going to see uh, Neo take off later on in this year. You know, especially when Biden does come into office. He's more clean energy. He's more economical EV. So we're going to see some good things happening. You know, when the year uh, gets going. This is the best headline, guys. This is where Neo gets really competitive. Neo reportedly plans to launch entry-level model with lithium iron phosphate batteries, guys. This is said to be a lower cost, guys. Uh, Neo is also planning to launch models with lower cost lithium iron phosphate batteries to expand its consumer base, according to a WeChat account that follows the Chinese uh, auto industry. So, guys, 
they're trying to compete with Tesla, you know, doing these price cuts. They're going to be coming out with cheaper uh, cars, uh, cheaper battery packs. And that's what it's all about. Neo is going to be uh, applying to all types of different uh, customer base because you got to understand these vehicles are a little bit expensive. Even though people are buying them, they can make more money uh, broadening their uh, customer user base. And as you can see, we see the sales. We see the, the market in China, you know, heading into the EV territory. This is a win like two, three years down the road, guys. This is a huge win. Uh, I really do expect uh, great growth happening this year. But I just think as the years go on, the the acceleration is going to continue to happen, guys. Neo is doing everything right. I don't think a lot of people understand that right now. Um, it, it's just it's just a golden it's just a golden uh, opportunity right now from what I'm seeing. Even at that fifty dollar price range, guys. You could easily, you know, three, four X your money, you know, by the end of the year. It's definitely possible. Uh, it's all about getting in, going long on call options. Like I said, read up on the summary and the Patreon. I have many other companies I'm playing right now. I listed all of the companies running hard uh, today, guys. Uh, Clean Spark, Blink, uh, Fuel Cell. These are all listed inside of my Patreon. A lot of people are killing it in that sector as well. Just, I just want you guys to know there's a lot of opportunity that is beginning to take off and. Uh, we'll just take a look at Neo right now. Uh, we're hovering around that $53, $62 range, $54 range. Very solid. Uh, we might see an initial pop tomorrow. I really do expect a sell-off at the end of the day, you know, 10, 15% after hours. You know, a lot of day traders are still in this one. As the stock continues to move higher, it's going to continue to burn day traders. And there's going to be more longs invested in the company. Uh, if you want me to take a look at the call options real quick, you know, I'll just it give you guys, you know, what's a safe call that I'm seeing. You know, if you don't, if you do have that longer uh, term outlook uh, right here, you know, April calls, you know, very solid. And we can see right now the April calls, you know, I would go with like a 50, 55, 60, whatever you can afford. A $60 call is not bad, 900 bucks, already 4,500 open interest. Uh, this could potentially double, you know, four months down the road. It's definitely possible. So um, a lot of good things are happening. You guys, I just want you to know there's a lot of opportunity inside of NEO. As you can see, I mean, the freaking headlines do not stop. Every other day, it's a different headline. And this really, I don't see getting priced in too much because of all these negative setbacks. I think NEO runs really hard uh, this year. And it's just a matter of time, guys. We already know what to really expect on NEO Day. The batteries, the vehicles. If they have some crazy news about a factory, you know, that'll take the stock to the next level. We will see... Uh, just be very cautious about those uh, January you know, 15th, January 8th, January 22nd calls. You might have to sell a portion of your investment tomorrow before close. I'm trying to get this out to people as fast as possible. I expect a maximum pullback of 15% over the weekend. Uh, Monday might have a little pullback, but I do think the next week or two weeks, we will see some gradual increases inside of NEO. We make our way into that you know, $70 range you know, in January. It's very possible. So... A lot of upside, guys, and you know I really appreciate you watching the video. Just wanted to give you guys, you know, a couple headlines, a couple outlooks of what to look for. Once again, guys, I want to bring up the Patreon. There is a ton of opportunity inside of the Patreon. I've been doing this, you know, pretty much, you know, all of last year. We have a lot of people making some serious money. That call option I showed you up 800%. There's hundreds of people inside of that same option. These types of gains are very possible. It just takes a little bit of patience, a little bit of time. Um, I'm setting a goal out for myself. You know, I want to get uh, my Patreon out to as many people as I possibly can because I work hard inside of my Patreon. I charge, you know, 20 bucks. That's going to give you everything, all of the knowledge I'm seeing inside of the market. You're going to get everything for $20 uh, for the VIP call options listing every Sunday, four times per month. You guys can just see the reviews. Uh, people are doing amazing. You guys can take a look at the Instagram uh, and read up on the reviews when you click the link. Uh, in the bio on the Patreon, it is the Big Money uh, underscore mindset. It's the Big Money underscore mindset channel. You can read up on all the reviews to see how people are doing. Like I said before, this takes patience, guys. Okay, these calls take you know two to three months to develop, but you can get some serious rocket fuel gains. And I'm telling you, the rocket fuel gains. I'm in a ton of call options right now, and they are boiling up. Neo is just one that you know we hit it big on. So just have patience, guys. And, you know, I really hope everyone the best. Once again, guys, I want to say I really do appreciate it if you made it to the end of the video. I really enjoy doing these videos for you. I'm going to be keeping you updated week in and week out on all the big updates. 
I hope you guys have a great day. I wish you guys uh, the best inside of the stock market. There's a ton of upside. There's a ton of opportunity. You just need to have that patience. I'm Kyle. This is Big Money Mindset. You have a great day.